Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So today I'm doing something that I should have done uh, once again back in December or January, but it did not happen, so here we are. So today I'm actually looking at the Lancome Christmas gift. This is, if you guys have never heard of this, I'm tr I looked it up, you don't have any information on it until Christmas actually rolls around, but basically every holiday season, both Estee Lauder and Lancome, they put out these really cute little bundle sets with very nice travel cases. You get a whole bunch of products in them and they are retailed normally at like $300 or so for the products you're getting. And essentially it's not a free gift. You have to spend a certain amount of money and then you can purchase it additionally. So I bought, for myself, the Estee Lauder one, and I did a review of that before Christmas, actually. Um, that one, I got it at a Christmas show. I actually got an additional free gift because of the place that I bought it. Um, and then I think I paid 60 or 65 for the kit additionally, but I had to spend at least 40 to to uh, be able to qualify to get it. And I wound up spending like $130. So it was a very big um, investment, if you will. And truthfully, I mean, the kit was adorable. It came with what seemed like a lot of great stuff. I really like the skincare it included. I love the travel case it included. The lipsticks were really nice, but I was very disappointed with the eyeshadows. And overall, I kind of felt like maybe the kit wasn't a great investment for me. It's That being said, I haven't, I haven't gotten one in probably like 10 years. I think I got one when I was younger from my mom and that was about it. So it was something that I wanted to test out and, and kind of seeing how I liked it and how I responded to it was definitely worthwhile, but it's probably something that I won't rush out to buy next year. Now the Lancome kits, I don't normally purchase them because I always see the Estee Lauder ones for some reason. I don't normally see uh, the Lancome ones as much and I don't know why, I guess that's just where I shop or what I normally look for. But uh, my parents' best friends, they got me the Lancome kit for Christmas this year. Same type idea, you have to spend a certain amount of money and then you can purchase the kit additionally. So they got me the Lancome kit. So this way I will actually be able to uh, kind of compare which one I think I like better, which is worth the money more and hopefully give you guys some insight into it. So if you're looking to buy them next year, you can kind of use 2019's um, consensus for me and hopefully kind of guide you to uh, to what you like. Now, I actually have received a Lancome one from the same family in the past. They think like two or three years ago, they gave me one for Christmas and I really like that. I like the eyeshadow colors. I like the lipsticks. Um, I love their makeup remover and this one came with another full size makeup remover. So I was very excited about that. And then I also really like their skincare as well. So we're gonna dive into it. Um, just before we start the actual makeup process, I do wanna go, I did a, a video where I showed you everything that came in it, but just really quickly so you guys can see what it comes with. So this is the cute little case. It does have like a big trunk part and then you've got like a nice little trunk part up at the top. I love it. It reminds me of like an old school like hat box, which is so cute in terms of the design. And the inside is vibrant pink and the outside is black, which is like very, very uh, my aesthetic, if you will. So inside, when you break inside, and I will say you get, these are probably what make it most worthwhile is um, you get the Genifique uh, Ukes advanced eye cream from Lancome and then you get their advanced uh, youth activating concentrate as well. I did use both of these today under my makeup. So I used the face uh, concentrate. It's not really a cream. It's more of, it's not really, it's like a cross between a cream and an oil. But I, like I said, I got this in the last kit that I, um, I received from Lancome and I really like it. And then I did use the eye cream as well. So those, I think each one of those are like retail at about $90 a piece. So those are very, very high priced items. Um, really nice to include in the kit. Um, I did also mention the makeup remover, which I really like. And then you get a dual sided brush, which if I'm being honest, I probably won't use it because I'm very particular about my brushes, but still nice that they include that. Um, you get a lash primer and you get an uh, mascara, which is nice. And I will use both of those in the video. You get an eyeliner. And I, it's a really big long one, but it's just like the standard pencil, which I find is a little bit harsh for my eyes. My eyes are kind of sensitive, so I, I will try it, but we'll see how much I like it. You get three lip colors. Those are, uh, those are them. I don't know why I showed you the, the names, like you could read them from this, this place, but you get one really nice neutral one. And I really like that one. That one will probably be what I use today. You get a vibrant red one which for the holiday collection, I think is a great addition because everybody's looking for bright reds for the holidays. And then you get like kind of like a burnt orange one, which is a nice, I would say it's a nice fall, dark but neutral color. So definitely gave you a nice range of um, lipsticks. And then what I always look for, everybody knows that I'm really into like 
eyeshadows and eyeshadow palettes. So that being said, my selling feature normally is the eyeshadow palette that comes with it. And I think this is absolutely beautiful. I really like, they give you kind of a, like a shimmery blush and a matte blush, and then you get all of these really nice neutral colors. Um, and it was funny, and um, at the time, over Christmas, my hair was purple, and they had a, they had a purple kit, and they had uh, this kind of more neutral kit. And the last time I had seen our family friends, I had red hair, and they were like, they were like, we picked out this color because we thought it would go better with your red hair. And we're sorry, we should have gotten the other one. I was like, it doesn't matter. I'll use any colors. I love colors. Now my hair is red. So we'll actually get to see it how they uh, intended for me to use it. So without any more ramblings, I'm going to jump into the actual makeup application process. Uh, before I uh, before I do that, if you, if, you like, uh, if you like what you're seeing here, maybe you should consider subscribing. Uh, yesterday was my birthday. It'd be a great birthday gift. So, uh, yeah, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you see us uh, post all this uh, cool content that we're doing right now because we're bored. So. Okay, so I'm going to do my blush and my lips first. I normally do my blush and my highlighter and my contour and stuff before I do my eyes. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue with that. I did already... Ugh, throwing things. I did already do my contour, so that's already on there. And I'm actually going to mix the two blushes because I think that a little bit of shimmer and a little bit of the matte will look nice with a... Uh, for my, my adventures in the house today. Okay, pretty. So my biggest complaint, I'm gonna blend it out so we can actually see how much I, oh, I keep throwing things. My biggest complaint is there, the pans for my big brush just does not work. It's very narrow and so it's hard to kind of get a good swatching on there. But overall, I mean, it's just kind of nice and subdued. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I also just stared directly into one of the lights, and so now I can't really see properly. I'm going to say that, but I think it looks okay. Uh, I'm going to do my highlight now. And that's just a normal Lorac highlighter that I keep in my makeup bag because it's very neutral and very easy to work with, and I can uh, get it done in like a matter of seconds. So. Okay, so now I'm gonna do lipstick. I am gonna go in, I'm actually gonna take the burnt orange that I showed you guys earlier. That doesn't really work, but I, I was trying. And I'm gonna do that like on my center and then I'm gonna, oh, nope, that's the red one, don't wanna do that. And I'm gonna do the uh, neutral one on the main thing. So we're gonna see how it looks when I layer it up. Oh, that's a gorgeous color. Honestly, I'm tempted to just do my whole lip that color because that's beautiful, but um, I'm gonna not do that. I'm gonna do what I said I was gonna do originally. Okay, big fan, love the lipsticks, which is honestly, that's great because my my favorite part of the Estee Lauder makeup was actually the lipsticks. Um, I'm not really a big lip person, but I was very disappointed with the, the, the size and the quality of the eyeshadow palettes that came with those. So I was like, uh, I'm not sure the makeup is really like working for me. And then I used the lipsticks and I was like, I'm very excited about that. So actually the fact that they also have an equal quality lipsticks would, I would say that would make that at this at least the same value in terms of it, which means if I like the eyeshadow at all, this will be a better value, which is kind of what I was expecting. Cause I was really actually very disappointed with the Estee Lauder. Like I, my mom and my mom also got the kit and she was like, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna buy that next year. And I was like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to either. So again, we're going to look at the eyeshadow palette. Blah, fell on my hand. All right. So eyeshadow palette is there. So what I'm thinking of doing today not doing anything, just hanging out at the house. So I'm probably gonna go in, I'm probably gonna use this as like a nice, just all over shade. Um, I'm probably going to do this for like my brow bone. And I'm thinking, I love this shimmery green shade. So we may just do like a full shimmer look, which I don't normally do, but we may do something with the two of these. I also like the silver shade, but I'm not sure I'm gonna, I'm not sure I'm feeling him today. We'll see what winds up happening. But I do know I'm gonna go in with this neutral shade and just kind of give myself like an all over crease look pretty it is so i will say lawn comb and estee lauder they have this like rep reputation of being like high end like higher end makeup i like their skincare i like their lipsticks i'm never really a big fan of their eyeshadows i'm i'm kind of i like the design of this eyeshadow palette better and i'm getting more payoff than i did with the estee lauder one so i like this one more but it's still not my favorite if i'm just being 100 percent honest it's just not really like i wouldn't kill myself to go out and buy it again does that make sense i don't know if that makes sense the dog is whining because she we everybody's gone and she's like wants to leave us but we she can't she can't leave us so all right i am gonna go in and i'm gonna blend this out up here 
I will say, as much as I was saying I'm not sure I like their eyeshadow formula, it's not bad. It's not It's not my favorite. I definitely have better ones out there. But like, I'm really liking right now. It's just kind of a soft look and it's very pretty. I am gonna go in with that shimmery green and I'm just gonna go full shimmer. I don't normally do that, but I'm gonna do that on my outer corner. We're just gonna do full shimmer today because you know what, what does it matter? I'm not going anywhere. I'm not impressing anyone. I love it. Oh my God, I love it. I love that shade. And I would, I would not do it ever for like, because normally with shimmers, I try and just keep them on my, like my inner corner or my, my main inner corner and like main surface area of my eyelid is normally where I try and go with those. But that actually is a very gorgeous outer corner color. I may do a little bit of the black just to give it some dimension, but I really, really like this. More than I was expecting to actually. This is definitely my favorite color on the palette so far that I've used. I did a little bit on my lower back line, lash line as well. And just to give it a touch of dimension, I'm gonna take the matte black and just do a little bit right here. Okay, so I cleaned up a little bit around the eyes. I did go in and put a little bit more of my crease just to kind of make it a little bit more fuller. So now we're gonna go in with the light green shade and I'm going to do that on the inner corner. It's really pretty. It did have a ton of fallout, but that also may be the brush that I used. Big fan, big, big, big fan of it. Okay, I'm gonna clean it up just a little bit more. Okay, so now we're gonna do mascara. We're gonna see how it looks with mascara. And then, uh, yeah, I can go ahead and tell you guys, I will, I'll say right now, I definitely think this is well, well more worth paying whatever you have to, buying products to qualify for it and then paying the additional $60 or $65, I really think it's 65, but I cannot remember and I could not find anything online about it. Um, they just like gave you like the current free gifts or free gifts that have happened recently or whatever. They don't give you like the Christmas stuff until actually closer to Christmas time, which is unfortunate that I can't even find any information just about like how much it would cost or anything. But, um, and I, I also say that I uh, did not dig very deep. So if I dug deeper, I probably would have found it. Anyway, I think this is definitely well worth the money. Um, so I'm gonna use the primer and I'm going to use the mascara. So we're gonna do that really quick. And it's a big spoolie with just like a whole bunch of white product on it. And it really does do a nice job of like lifting and kind of separating before you go in and put your actual mascara on. This is another one of the things that I really liked when I got the last kit. Um, it's also one of the things that Estee Lauder does not include with theirs. At least I don't think they do. It was a really long time ago. Maybe if I went back and watched the video, I'll be like, oh no, they actually did. I don't think they do though. And the one thing I will say about Esther, uh, Lancome's mascara, it's always like blue. So we'll see how that looks. I'm, I'm not gonna like shy away from it, but it's like this kind of like gray blue. It's not really matte black, so interesting. But I'm not sure how far away. Like, I don't know if like from far away, you guys will be able to tell that it's blue or not. I don't hate it at all. I actually really like it. It's just very interesting. So this is the final product. I'm a big fan actually. I um, I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did. Um, and that sounds terrible, but like I said, I just <sighs> kind of have this like pre-notion that like a lot of times Estee Lauder and Lancome, they're very overhyped and they're, they've kind of had this like rapport in the community for such a long time that people are just like, they always associate their name with high quality. And um, like, I was very disappointed with the formula for the Estee Lauder. I, enough that I would be like, I probably won't buy many more Estee Lauder like makeup palettes. Maybe their skincare, maybe their lipsticks, but not really like palettes. This I was really impressed with. Um, honestly, I think if I had a smaller blush brush, I would have liked the blush better too, but I just went with like my big ass one that I normally use. So that probably was part of it. But um, this, once again, this is what the palette looks like. I do think that they had two color choices you can choose from. They normally do give you a, a variant so that you can choose like, you know, with the little colors and the eyeshadow combination that you feel like would work best for you. But I really like how this turned out and I'm very excited. So um, if you're interested in next season looking at the, the Lancome gift, I don't know exactly, obviously it's not gonna be this one, but I would say probably look more and do more research about that one than the Estee Lauder one, just from how I felt about the 2019 version. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry, it was like four months late. It is what it is. Here we are living our lives. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, like I said at the beginning, if you haven't subscribed to the page and you did enjoy the video, then please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you see every time we post content. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up because it definitely helps us. It, it, uh, it puts it out there more for the, the YouTube folks to find us and hopefully enjoy it as well. Um, yeah, and other than that, I just really hope everybody is staying safe and healthy and uh, you guys all have a wonderful day and stay girly with the dark twist.